Hello, in this video I will show you how to create a composite provider in BW7.5 on HANA. And in that composite provider, it will use two data parts. One is from the uh, BW7.5 on HANA, the advanced DSO, which has the physical data store. And the other data part is coming from the HANA view directory. Okay, so we're gonna simulate a scenario to use the um, planning data in the BW and some uh, operational actual data coming from HANA view directory. Okay, so as usual, before we start our um, um, modeling, we're gonna take a quick look about the uh, system we're gonna use in today's video session. So um, the BW on HANA, we have the um, latest um, BW 7.5 installed in the support package SP5 is pretty new. Okay. And for the inline database for the HANA, we have the HANA 2.0 installed. And the uh, operational system is uh, SUSE Linux as uh, server 12. SP2. So they are all very, very new, almost the latest version. All right. So now let's go to the BW modeling tool to create the advanced DSO and the composite provider. Okay. So actually, I have already created the one with advanced DSO. Uh, if you don't, you just right click the inf area and choose um, advanced DSO. Okay. So you can give a name here. Um, so if I eighty zero two because I have one already. So most important thing here is you're gonna choose the appropriate template for your advanced DSO. You have you have different templates to choose. For example, if you want to create a cube for the planning, you create a cube, or you can use the direct update. <laughs> And DSO because going forward we're gonna do the planning in the direct up the DSO directly instead of the queue. Okay, and actually in our case we're gonna use the standard uh, data store object which has the uh, active date table and the change log table. Okay, so and then I just click close it because we have already created one here, and then we can go to the detail. And actually, you can create advanced DL DSO from data source or from other DSO as a template. Okay. In our case, we create the advanced DSO from data source directly. So all the fields has been extracted from the data source. And the only thing you need to do is just to manage, create your case. Okay. Once you create your case, you can simply cl click the activation. So everything is done. Okay. And then you can uh, create the uh, multi provider and to load the data here. Okay, so I, I believe I have loaded the data. So if we just okay, double click the transformation. See, this is the transformation. Okay, it's very simple. And uh, here, you, what you can do is that um, you, you, if you want to see the data, maybe you have to go back to the traditional workbench and see how the data loads. And this is the one you choose manage, and you can see the transaction. Uh, sorry, the request. And right click, you're gonna see open the the window and it's to show your data in your active table. All right, so choose here and see this is data we loaded. Okay, so go back. So we have complete our advanced DSO for the physical data for the planning and then we need to uh, integrate the uh, um, HANA view into the composite provider okay now let's go back to the BW modeling tool and this time we're gonna right click and create a composite provider okay so actually I have one created already let's click this maybe I just remove it and create a game FI CP01. You can copy 
but in our case we're going to create one from scratch here you're going to choose if you want to join the two uh, data parts or you want uni actually you can join more than two okay in our case we, we only have two so we want union and you can choose start with the info provide or HANA view and here we're going to start with our advanced DSO we just created ZFI AD01 okay this is advanced DSO right let's click this and you can add one more the HANA view is CV spin oh, sorry okay um, we don't have enough authorization we're gonna add authorization for this one okay hello yeah after we solve the uh, HANA view authorization I mean the user to connect the uh, HANA database um, now we we are able to add the uh, HANA view to the composite provider as you can see here we have the list of the view fields available to be assigned to our target so we're going to simply drag and drop so for calendar months we just map to the zero calendar months city is mapped to city and currency we're going to map to the zero currency and here we're going to create another uh, key figure or mirror because uh, we are simulating the scenario we have the uh, planning data stored in SCPBW and the actual or spend data from the HANA view okay so this is our target so here we can assign a uh, info object instead of the using the uh, field name so we're gonna use zero amount okay so we choose the direct usage or associate object by name and now we are almost done with our composite provider with the two parts provider one is from the advanced DSO in SPPW and the other is from the HANA view directly okay so this is output here um, you can maintain and uh, the uh, the detailed setting for the um, output targets and also I think this is info object because we just uh, want to leverage all the mass data to find in SCP PW system okay so now let's activate the composite provider so um, we may have a problem a conversion problem possible for source field calendar months to the zero calendar months let's go back and check okay yeah I think okay so um, this is just a warning message this is the reason is because in the target we have the data type numeric but on the source on this side uh, we have the uh, uh, their data type I believe is uh, uh, character uh, VR car you can see here so this is a type conversion but we know it's always a number so we are good Okay, so once we have done this, uh, we can go to the uh, backend system and uh, let's run RSA1. And uh, now we're going to see this compass provider. Okay, because the HANA view are not able to show here, so you can only see the physical advanced DSO. So actually, this compass provider has two parts. HANA view and this advanced DSO. So we right click, choose display data, and we choose the fields we want to display. Now if you click, click OK, we're going to see all the data. Okay, so this is the info provider uh, the, which contains data, and also I believe you have the uh, HANA view. Let's go back and enlarge these records. So these fields, I mean, these records are coming from the HANA view. Okay, so this is the CV and scroll uh, spent. And for the rest of the fields, you can see it's coming from the advanced DSO. Okay, so, so far we have created a composite provider 
which you need two parts provider. One is from Advanced DSO, the other is from HANA View uh, successfully. So uh, um, in our next session, we're going to see how to use the uh, composite, provider, composite provider in our BW modeling tool to create a BEX query. Okay, thanks for, for watching.